Today, I'm gonna to show you how to set up 2FA on your Cake or Monero.com wallet. Let's get into it. So, what is 2FA and why would you want to use it? 2FA stands for two-factor or second-factor authentication. It is a second lock to get into something, usually an account. Instead of just having a typical username and password, in addition to that, you would need to put in a special code, and in this case, a TOTP code, which is a time-based code that changes every 30 seconds. Each service you run into might use a different type of 2FA, whether that might be SMS code or an email code. Cake uses the KYC-free TOTP method that is easily accessible and arguably one of the most secure options. For Cake Wallet, 2FA gives you the ability to control exactly what actions require an extra code. You can require 2FA for sending transactions to new sources, for looking at wallet seeds, or even accessing the wallet altogether. But we'll take a look at all the options available and how to set it up. There are several free and open source apps available to use for TOTP, a few listed on the Cake 2FA page linked in the description. But whatever app you choose must allow using SHA-512, as that is the implementation of TOTP that Cake 2FA requires, and is more secure than the common SHA-1. Unfortunately, because of that, it will not work with several popular 2FA apps like Google Authenticator or Microsoft Authenticator, but we have several great open source and free options available. An easy recommendation for a great 2FA app that is cloud-synced, but end-to-end -end encrypted and open source is Entei Auth. It is free to make an account and is available on Android, iOS, and the web. However, in order to start your account, you must use the app. You can, however, access your entries on the web later on. I will also be showing how to set it up with Aegis, which is on Android only. You can get it from the Play Store or F-Droid and is local only. You have to do manual backups to get it on other devices. All right, guys, let's go ahead and set up 2FA on Cake Wallet. So first off, of course, you're going to want to open Cake or Monero.com wallet. Once again, this procedure is exactly the same between Cake wallet and Monero.com wallet. And next, you're going to want to go to the menu on the top right, tap that, tap security and backup, and then tap setup Cake 2FA. Put in your PIN or biometrics, and you're going to get this warning here, just letting you know that if you lose access to your 2FA, Cake support cannot help you. This solution is entirely non-custodial. Especially make sure that you have all of your seeds for all of your wallets backed up before setting this up. But let's go ahead and set up TOTP. And now it presents us with a QR code and a couple other options. We've got TOTP secret code and TOTP auth URL. Now, if you're using your 2FA on another device, you can definitely scan the QR code, which might be a better way to set up your 2FA as you don't necessarily want to have it on the same device. Maybe it's better to have a different device for security. But if you are using it on the same device, you, you of course still can. And you can totally use a different pin or password for your second factor authentication app. But in this case, we will be scanning the QR code for Entei Auth. And then I'll show you how to manually input the TOTP secret code for Aegis. So how I'm going to do this since I'm using the same device with the authenticator, I'm going to go ahead and take a screenshot of this and I'm going to send this to myself on my desktop securely. I'm going to use Signal to send this to my desktop so I can scan it. However, just make sure to check if your screenshots are not working under settings, privacy, and prevent screenshots and screen recording is turned off or else of course it will let you take a screenshot of the QR code. And now that I've sent it to myself on Signal, I'm going to go ahead and open NT Auth. I'm going to scan QR code. And then I'm going to go up and scan that. And there we go, just like that, it shows up in Entei Auth very easy. Next, I'm gonna go back to Cake Wallet. I'm going to copy the TOTP secret code. Then I'm going to open IGIS, or IGIS. And I'm going to tap the plus here. And I'm going to tap enter manually. I'm going to name this one Cake Wallet. And the issuer will be Cake, Cake2FA. And I'm going to paste that secret right here that we just copied. And I'm going to tap on advanced. This is important because this won't work unless we change these options. We're going to keep the type. We're going to change the hash function from SHA-1 to SHA-512 and keep the period as 30 seconds. And we're going to change the digits from 6 to 8. And then we're going to press save. And just like that, we got Cake2FA down here. 
So now I'm going to go back to Cake Wallet. I'm going to tap continue. And now I'm going to go to one of those apps that I just set up and copy the code. So I'm going to go and copy it from NT. I'm going to go back to Cake Wallet, paste it right there, continue. And success, Cake2FA has been enabled for this wallet. And of course, remember to save your mnemonic seed in case you lose wallet access. Okay, and now you're presented with a lot of options for how you want to use Cake2FA. So by default, it is on the narrow preset, which only requires 2FA for sending to non-contacts, requiring for adding contacts, creating new wallets, and changing and viewing security and backup settings. So there's multiple presets you could choose here, or you can change these toggles yourself. So there's narrow, which has this pretty basic presets, which will probably work for most people. But if you want to go up a notch, you could go to normal, which then requires sending for contacts as well, and exchanges and internal wallets. And then aggressive requires everything, requires accessing the wallet too. So once you're done choosing whatever options you want, I'm going to turn a couple of these off here you can just go back and at that point cake 2fa will be enabled and of course you could also use cake wallet on the desktop to set up 2fa which might be a little bit easier if you want to scan the qr code from your phone but all you'd have to do is go to settings security and backup set up cake 2fa put in your password set up TUTP. you've got the same screen as the app and now i can simply scan that code continue and continue and now it's set up and you've got the similar options that you can turn on or off and the rest of it works pretty much the same just note that these are two separate codes uh, these will not work for the same app you got to set it up separately for the desktop and for the phone now that i've got cake 2 fa set up i'm going to show you what it looks like with the settings that i had selected so i'm going to go ahead and tap send and i'm going to go ahead and send to a contact and I'm going to tap small here. I'm just going to set it to the same wallet. I'm going to do 0.01. I'm going to send that fingerprint sensor or pin and okay. And since that was a contact I already had on my address book, it's not going to make me do the 2FA. But now if I want to go ahead and send it to someone not on my contact book, so I'm going to go ahead and use bird pay using my Twitter handle. Tap send, fingerprint, and now it asks for the TOTP code. So now that's when I can go to NTAuth or IGIS. I can copy that code, paste it in Cake Wallet, continue, and now it lets me send that amount. And of course, also another setting that's on by default. If we want to go to the security and backup and we want to show seed slash keys, that requires not just pin fingerprint sensor, but also TOTP code. So if we go back to one of our apps here, copy the one from Ente, off, paste that. Verification successful. And now you can see all of the keys. And of course, if you want to modify those settings or disable Cake2FA, you can always go back to that same spot under security and backup in the menu, modify Cake2FA put in that code once more continue and then you can change the preset turn stuff on and off or you can disable it altogether and now cake 2 fa is off thanks for watching guys i hope you have set up cake 2 fa after this and let us know down below in the comments what setup you use what authenticator app you might use for cake 2 fa and subscribe to the monero.com and cake wallet youtube channels for more videos like this more monero minutes more tutorials and we'll see you next time